Good, good. Perfect. How many pins you got? You got enough? Twist the machine sometimes. You got to get contact, you know? You know, if I, I happen to go all the way in, you want to go halfway, about. Just experience so you see what you're doing. Yeah. Makes sense. And, and you don't. You don't have to hit this again. Yeah. You just want to go nice. that way, you know? Okay. Cut the doing concrete work. <laughs> Pretty cool. Contact. Twist the machine sometimes and it'll go. Hold the trigger down and twist it while you're holding it down. So, and then it'll grab. Yeah. These little dots here, you want them there? Not for now, no. Just do the big ones. Three more. I need one more. This row. Just gotta come out a little more. Don't worry about it. Do this row first. Okay. Do, do all the outer ones that you just did. It's going to come out a lot, so yank on it. Right. Good. Next one. So if you watch him yanking on it, he's not pulling hard enough. You have to really whack it back to pull the dent out. Just be sure. Nice. Good. Do these two. You know, you got to remember, this is his first time doing this. He's never touched one of these before. Good. Nice. Pretty Looking cool. good. Looking good. I say we could weld another one, like, right in here. Okay. And then we'll do these a little bit more. All right. What's a machine like that? I bought a calculator, the first calculator that had the tape on it when they first came out. Seven hundred and fifty dollars because I wanted it. Now you buy them what? Twenty nine dollars. Unbelievable. Like I was one of the fortunate ones that bought the first mobile phone at fifty-two hundred dollars. Oh my God! The one you carry around in the box. Unreal. Old years, man. Okay, let's cut them. When off taking now. these pins yeah. off, all you have to do right. is push them to the side, right? Get your dikes. Put your dikes around the very tip of that thing and twist it. Okay, there's no need to yank on it or pull it. Gary here, my godfather's not used to this, but all you really have to do is just twist it and it'll come right off very, very easily. Okay, so I'm welding a couple more pins here in the low areas, right? And then I'm just gonna yank this section out a little bit more and uh, we'll be good for putting some body filler on this piece. And what I'm doing here is knocking the high areas down, right? Because every time you make a dent, you're going to have a high area around the outer area of the dent, right? So you want to whack that down. That's 
So there are many ways to do body work and this is one. Um, you could use a tree, you can use an I-beam in your shop uh, to put a come along around and then pull it out because you need pressure to pull out sometimes. And then what we're doing here is just hitting the high area down while we have that pressure of pulling out. Okay, once that's done, then we grind up a little bit more and then we could lay our body filler on top of that. Keep cranking. I don't want to pull it out. You're not going to pull it out. All right, here's, I'm putting a hammer in the back of the section here to flatten it out, right? Because the come along did a little bit of damage to that hole there, pulling it out. All we're doing is just bending it back together and working from there. Now we're gonna grind out the little paint areas in the back there, and we're gonna weld a couple more pins, pull those areas out, and uh, hit the high spots down as well. Doing it good enough or? Yeah, it looks good. You can hold for another split second if you want. Make sure it's she's on. Hold the trigger and twist until she grabs. There you go. Um, he fixed a uh, 1980 Jeep. Oh yeah? Yeah. The open one like in the war? Yeah. yeah. Keep pressure on that arm, holding it out, you know? Sometimes it's good to have an extra hand while somebody's yanking it out. You got somebody hitting down the high spots, but you could usually do it by yourself, but it does help with an extra hand. Like what we're doing right here. Ready? Yep. Okay. Ready? Yep. Wipe it out. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it's, it's close enough. The rest will build out with Bondo. You're going to grind? Yeah, we can. Yeah, quick. If you notice how easy it comes off just by twisting. You see that? It comes off really easy. All I'm doing is using a screwdriver to kind of get that ridge back in there. And then we're going to shape the rest with Bondo body filler. Okay, so this is pretty much pulled out. Uh, our grill lines up nice. The only thing we got to do now is Bondo it and shape it uh, to fit the grill. time it took us so far is less than two hours. Do you know what time it was when we because double it up and then put one below it single. Okay. Uh, this way because the paper's pretty uh, 80 grit cuts through pretty quick so it's just to protect it so you don't scratch up your lens you know. Right. And then just a single below it. All we want to do is uh, scuff around here with about 80 grit uh, so our filler blends into the whole panel, okay? Fine. So Just like no that, problem. all the yeah. way around. No problem. Turn it up. Keep going.
good. You know, paper or what? What? Need more sandpaper? <laughs> no, not now. This is good. When you have a new can of Bondo, you always want to mix good. it up quickly because right. sometimes yep, you're going to have good. a piece of glaze on there that you want to mix in to the body filler, right? And before you lay your filler, you want to make sure you blow off all of the damaged areas, all the sand, yeah, don't be shy. Just pull, everything. Pull you want to blow it all off. This way it's nice and clean so you can lay your body filler. All we're doing right here is sanding out the Dodge decal with 80 grit. All right, we're just gonna take it down, cut it all out with 80 grit, and uh, feather it down with a 220 to 280, and then just put a thick coat of Euro primer on it, uh, a 2K primer, a filler primer. All right, and then we're gonna sand that down with 400 grit, and it'll be ready for paint. All right, so mixing your body filler. Now, as my dad always said, for every golf ball size of body filler that you use, you wanna put about six to eight drops of hardener, okay? I've been you know, doing this for so long that I could just eyeball it just like that uh, with you know, putting a couple lines down. And it also, you could also tell if you put too much or too little by the color, right? You wanna get a nice medium blue like the way you see here uh, if it's too dark, it's going to dry really quick. It gives you a lot less time to work with. So you're going to have to work really quick if you put a little too much hardener. All right. There's no real uh, consequences of putting too much. Uh, too little, uh, you can have a problem because the Bondo could take a lot longer to dry. And sometimes if you really put uh, you know, not enough, you are it's going to be sticky and it won't dry. You're going to have to just scrape it off with a putty knife or something and start all over again you know put new filler put new uh, hardener on it but uh, just make sure you don't put too little um, too much you're just gonna end up drying it out quicker and you're gonna have you're gonna be wasting some extra body filler so just keep that in mind and as you see the way I'm laying the filler on here you want to make sure to press firmly as you as you work the panel okay and it doesn't have to be perfect at the same time this is your first coat right you just want to try to get it, just fill the dent up. You can see here, I'm not even worried about the crease of the line on that bottom part. We're going to sand that, the crease out later and actually make uh, the crease. Okay, so you can see here the way I'm doing it. Just, it's a rough draft. You just want to fill it up and we could always shape it with the rasp. And in the next video, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to shape it with the rasp. It cuts down on your sanding time. Some people like to use the rasp, some people don't. It's basically the cheese grater looking thing, okay? So you shave it down a lot quicker, cuts down time so you don't have to sand as much with 80 grit or 40 grit, whatever you're doing. Uh, some people like to just sand, right? They're afraid of using the rasp. But, you know, it doesn't matter how you want to do it. And just uh, get it close to the outer shape of the panel as possible. Um, to original, you know what I mean? And then work it from there. And Bondo, you know, it could take two, three, four shots. You know, if it's a small dent, maybe you'll probably get it done in, in one shot, maybe two Do shots. Yep. Sometimes it could take as much as four or five passes, you know, um, over and over, repeat the process to get it done.